We started off by assessing all of the mozzarellas in their raw state. When we kind of got them out of the bags and, and started looking at them, we noticed that some were sort of a little bit dusty in texture, waxy, um, sort of moist and sticky. They kind of range from soft to, to quite a firm texture. When you kind of looked at the Arla products by comparison, there was a definite consistency across all, all of the formats, the diced, the shredded and the sticks. There was an element of kind of clumpiness to the products. The clumpiness isn't necessarily a problem because what I find is if you grate a block of cheese by hand and then you store it, it will stick back together. It retains flavour better. It means that there's not so much starch or other products to keep it from separating. When we looked at some of the other products, you open the bag and there was no clumping at all, but when you touch them, they were quite dusty. Um, that kind of transfers towards the flavour for me. After cooking all of the mozzarella, we found that the Arla product had a consistent golden colour um, after, each, after each bake, whereas some of the other cheeses that we had were slightly golden in one place, but had a kind of splitting, kind of marbling effect on that. The Arla product had a much less oily um, appearance than some of the others. It retained a good texture. Um, it also retained its opacity for takeaway purposes um, after a period of time of being cooked and, and, and held. For its consistency, for its flavour, um, for the feel of it and how it, the, the coverage, how it looks when it's cooked, how it feels and tastes when it's raw, I would definitely use and recommend that anyone would use the Arla mozzarella product.